I, I student, I good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're watching from, from, this is your favorite tutor, tutor Yomi Omorewa. Nice uh, meeting again. Uh, in case you're just coming to my YouTube channel and you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do that now. And the reason you have to do that is so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified as you click the notification button and then you will enjoy whatever I'll be uploading on my channel. As a tutor who study chemical engineering, I basically teach math, physics, chemistry, and further mathematics. And I'm sure this is a subject that a lot of students find difficult. And you'll be enjoying that on my channel. And so today, I'll be looking at something very important. Uh, knowing fully well that tomorrow is chemistry particle for our ex students. I have something here for you. It's actually a, an exam question in 2019, a private uh, work. And the question goes thus. In a titration experiment, you have 21.60 cm cube of H2SO4, what you call hydrogen tetrazo surface 6, or tetrazo surface 6 acid, was required to completely react with 25 cm cube of sodium hydroxide containing 2.0 gram of the alkali in 500 cm cube of solution. The first thing we are told to do is to write a balanced equation for the reaction. Obviously, you know that it's a neutralization reaction, and so we are told to write the neutralization reaction. And then, the second part of the question says, Calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide in mole per dm cube. And then calculate the sodium uh, H2SO4, that the acid now, in mole per dm cube. And we're also to still calculate the H2SO4 in gram per dm cube. And of course, we are given the various relative atomic masses of the elements. How do we go about this question? Let me quickly say this. In some other question, or the one you may say tomorrow, you may be given the equation, the balance equation. Okay? In this case now, we have sodium hydroxide being an alkali. A soluble base is referred to as alkali. So you have alkali here, sodium hydroxide, a base, and then you have H2SO4. Both of them are actually strong acid and strong base respectively and in that case any indicator is actually suitable as you've been taught okay so let's come to the question now solution so you have sodium hydroxide and then you have h2so4 to give you this, and then you have water. This is what you are told now. Sodium hydroxide reacting with H2SO4. So we can indicate their states. We can indicate their states. This is water, and this is a salt. This is salt and water. That makes it a neutralization reaction. So you have something like this. Now, we need to balance the equation. Obviously, you know that the equation is not balanced. How do I know? Just at a glance, I can tell. The reason is, I have two sodium here. Here I have sodium. Okay, so let me balance the sodium quickly. That's two sodium. Balancing the sodium, the sodium is balanced. Is hydrogen balanced? You check up. Hydrogen is not balanced. Hence, I'll place two here to balance my hydrogen. And so, 
the reaction is balanced now. What do we have here? We see that the acid, the base to acid or acid to base, you can place this in front or you can place this behind. Okay, so placing this before or behind now, the ratio here is 2 and why the ratio here is 1. Okay, so let's go now to what we have here. We are told to write a balanced equation and we have done just that. Okay, the next thing we are told to do is to calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide in mole per dm cube. Calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide in mole per dm cube. How do we go about that? Having done our A, we come to our B part. So, there's a formula now that we need to employ. Molar concentration in mole per dm cube is equal to mass concentration. This is in gram per dm cube and then over molar mass. Molar mass is gram per mole. Gram per mole, not gram per dm cube, gram per mole. Okay? Now, that's this. So, we have a formula like this. And here we are told to calculate the molar concentration of the base, of the alkali. Okay? So, but we know this. We can easily find this. We are asked to find it, but we don't know this. But we, give, we are given some information in the question. And so we want to go back to the question. In a titration experiment, 21.60 cm cube of H2SO4 was required to completely react with this of sodium hydroxide. Listen to this. Containing this of this. Containing this of this. And so, we know that for sodium hydroxide, 40 gram, that is the molar mass, 40 gram of sodium hydroxide, obviously, will contain 1 dm cube, or 1 dm cube of, uh, 1 dm cube of solution will contain 40 gram of this, because we talked about 1 dm cube. And 1 dm cube is equal to 1000 cm cube i'm sure you know that 1 dm cube is equals to 1000 cm cube and so we are given this in cm cube it's important we convert to dm cube so if 1 dm cube is equals to 1000 cm cube then 500 cm cube will be this so you have 500 multiplied by 1 dm cube over what 1000 cm cube this is cm cube 2 so cm cube cancel cm cube 0 cancel 0 0 cancel 0 and then what do you have you have 0 0.5 what dm cube i just have to break it down like that for you to understand so if you divide this by this you're going to have 0 0.5 Okay, now, having 0 0.5 now as this, what do we do? Then we come and find our mass concentration. Mass concentration in gram per dm cube is now what? 2.0 that we are given in the question. That's the gram over the dm cube, which is 0 0.5. So... You can say that mass concentration in gram per dm cube is mass over volume. So this is a mass, this is a volume, and that will give you this. So we have gotten our mass concentration in gram per dm cube. The next thing now is to now find what we are asked to find. So let's go to that now. So our Roman figure one. To find the molar concentration proper now, so we have mass, look at it on the board, over molar mass. What's our mass now? Our mass, we just got it. I mean, I'm talking about mass concentration. We just got it to be what? 4.0. What's our molar mass? 
and how do we calculate molar mass? Molar mass is what we have here, and we are given some values. Sodium hydroxide, therefore, can easily be calculated in this regard. So we have 23, 16 plus 1, and that is 40 grams per mole. So you divide by 40 grams, and that will give you 0 0.1 mole per dm cube. So we have gotten our answer. That's pretty simple, right? Now, we go to number two part of the question. Number two part of the question, it says, we have to calculate the H2SO4 in mole per dm cube. <laughs> this is straightforward. This is simple because we have known that of this and we are given other parameters. So we have to use our favorite formula. Our favorite formula, which says this, So we have this. So this is what we are to do now. So making a CA subject of formula. So if you make CA subject of formula correctly, you're going to have CB, VB, and A over VA. And D. That's the formula. That's what we're going to do. Now, you may want to ask, are we given CB? Obviously, we are given. We just calculated. We are not given, but we sought for it. And that's exactly what we just got now. So you put it there. Another question again. Were we given the volume of the base? And <laughs> go to the question was required to completely react with this. So we're given 25. Another question, the mole ratio of the acid, is it embedded in the question? From the calculation, from the equation of reaction that we did here, is one. So is the... The volume of the acid are we given, look at it here, in the titration experiment, this, all this. Okay, so 21.60. And then the volume of the base. Okay, no, the mole ratio of the base is there, that's true. So if you are with your calculator there, I have a phone here that has scientific calculator. So I'm going to punch to know what the answer is. 0 0.1 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 1 divided by 2160 multiplied by what now? 2. And then you have here I am having 0 0.05 um, 8 approximately more per dm cube that's what i'm having there 0 0.058 more per dm cube that's it that's it that's what i'm having there and so now the next question now says that i should find or calculate the h2so for in gram per dm cube Student, I'm sure you can do this <laughs> because it's quite simple. So to do this, just make this subject of formula. That's all. You have gotten that of the acid now. So make this subject of formula. You already know this. The molar concentration of the acid. Look at it here. And that's the answer. We are asked to find it. Make this subject of formula. This to get this is not a problem. You can always calculate the molar mass or molecular mass of H2SO4. But let me just do that quickly. For the sake of a uh, student who might be confused, so what I, I think is quite straightforward. Okay, but well, let me quickly uh, do that for you. Okay, so doing that now, uh, doing that now, so what do we have? We have mass concentration in gram per dm cube of H2SO4 is equal to, look at it now, molar concentration 
Et mot pas dit un que h 2 so 4 times molar mass of h 2 so 4 Why am I saying that? So that you don't miss it up. I keep I, I don't you discover that I keep saying h 2 so 4 so that you don't miss it up. So it's important everything is properly spelled out. So there won't be any mistake at all. So we've gotten this already. We have what do we have there? Okay. And then how do we calculate this? Let's just cite it here. Um hydrogen is one, you are given times two. This is 32. Sulfur. Oxygen is 16 times 4. By the time you do this correctly, 32, 64. You have 98 gram per mole. That's simple, right? And so by the time you calculate, let's punch calculator again. 0 0.5. 0 0.058. Multiply by 98. I am getting 5.684. 5.684. You can approximate it if you like to two decimal places, but let's leave it at three decimal places. So that's the final answer. And would you say this is difficult? No, I don't think so. You could say something like this exactly tomorrow, you could say something very close to it. So I'm still going to do some solving, some other thing related to this. So watch out on my channel for other similar questions you are likely to see tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.